Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find nth derivative of ax plus b raised to m. So let's write here this y is equals to ax plus b raised to m where this m is any real number. And we have to find here nth derivative that means first here we have to find y1 then y2 y3 up to yn right. So Let's differentiate this y with respect to x. Differentiating this y with respect to x, we get here this first derivative dy by dx. This is we have to call as a y1 and this is given by this m into ax plus b raised to m minus 1 into derivative of this function this is ax plus b right here we have used chain rule or we can say that we have apply this formula here derivative of x raised to n this is given by n into x raised to n minus 1 right we have compare this is with this one and we have write down derivative of this is right so here we have y1 is equals to m into ax plus b raised to m minus 1 and derivative of this ax plus b with respect to x this is a right. So we got this is y1 first derivative of y right. Next here we have to differentiate y1 to get y2. So here we have second derivative y2 and this is given by now at this time this m and this a these are the constant. So this is as it is and derivative of this one. This is here we have m minus 1 into ax plus b raised to m minus 1 minus 1 right and derivative of this function right and this a as it is. So on simplification here we have this is y2 m into m minus 1 into ax plus b raised to m minus 2 and derivative of this is right. This is a here and this a so here we have a square. This is second derivative right. Now we want y3 so we have to again differentiate this y2. Yes differentiating y2 we have here this is y3 and now m into m minus 1 and this a square these are the constant. So this is as it is right and derivative of this is what is this derivative m minus 2 into ax plus b raised to m minus 2 minus 1 right and derivative of this ax plus b right and this a square this is as it is. So here we have y3. So this is third derivative. Now by checking this pattern in y1, y2, y3 we can write here y4. Now when we have y3 here we have m into m minus 1 m minus 2 and in y2 here we have m m minus 1 right and now check the power of ax plus b when we have y1 here we have m minus 1 when we have y2 here we have m minus 2 and in y3 here we have m minus 3 same about this one in y1 here we have a y2 here we have a square and in y3 here we have a cube. So we have to write y4 this is m into m minus 1 m minus 2 into this m minus 3 and what is the power of ax plus b this will be m minus 4 and here a raised to 4. So here we have write down fourth derivative y4. So same here this is differentiating y with respect to x n times. We get here 
nth derivative of y and this is we have to call as a y n and this is given by by observing this pattern we have to write m into m minus 1 m minus 2 m minus 3 up to m minus n minus 1 right and here ax plus b rest to m minus n into a rest to n right yes when we have y4 here we have power m minus 4 so here we have to write down power m minus n right here we have a raised to 4 so here we have to write a raised to n and here we can check that again when we have y4 here we have m minus 3 that means 1 less than this 4 same here we have to write 1 less than n that means here we have to write m minus n minus 1 right so this is we have find nth derivative and here condition of m and n is that this m is this greater than n here we have to note down that m is greater than n right and now here we have to check what will happen if m is equals to n so let's have here if this m is equals to n right then we have here nth derivative by replacing m by n here we have so on simplification we can write this is as a n factorial ax plus b raised to 0 this is 1 and this is here a raised to n so here we have find y n this is that means here we have find nth derivative of ax plus b raised to n right and this is given by n factorial into a raised to n next consider if m is less than n this condition right so we know that if we find this derivative if we have power of ax plus b raised to n and if we find its higher derivative higher order derivative than this power this is zero right so we have to note down that this one here we can check this is by one simple example if we have this if we have to find third derivative of this x square so what is third derivative of x square yes this is zero right and same here if we want 2x plus 3 raised to n instead of n if we have this is 4 and if we want fourth derivative so what is the fourth derivative of this is here so we have to write down this is 4 factorial into this 2 raised to 4 right so in this way we have to proceed for the examples now to understand all these formulas let's have one simple example if we have y is equals to this 2x plus 3 raised to 10 and if we have to find all this nth derivative to find y1 that means we have to differentiate this y one time to find y5 we have to differentiate this y five times and we have to use all these formulas as follows here So yes, we have to proceed for finding nth derivative as we have done here. 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर नाउ सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू कीप वॉचिंग